Hi guys, hope you're keeping well. I hope you enjoyed our last video. And uh, this week we're going to learn how to weave. So weaving, if you've done it before, that's really, really cool. Now's a chance to show your skills. If you haven't done it before, now's your chance to learn. So we're going to be trying to create a lovely mixed media weave like this using various different materials found around the house, like an old t-shirt pillowcase, bits of fabric lying around, a bit of scarf, shoelaces, whatever you can find that's kind of straight, can do this, <laughs> you can use to weave. Even bits of plastic bag, anything that you can find, literally, I would love to see your interpretation of this. For our loom, I'm actually going to be using a pizza box. You can use any kind of cardboard that you can find, as long as it's a little bit sturdy and um, so it won't flop over on you as you're trying to do your weave. So a pizza box, a cereal box, um, a milk carton, cut up, um, literally anything you can get your hands on. Have a route through that bin and see what you can find. Um, so that's it. So without further ado, here's the video. We're going to start by making our loom. We will need to cut the pizza box into a rectangular shape. You can also use a square to create a square weave. The shape of your cardboard will dictate the shape of your weave. I'm measuring this cardboard 20 centimeters wide. Now I'm going to cut out the rectangle. We might need some help from an adult with scissors here. Now we're going to create the little teeth along the top of our loom which will hold the string in place. Measuring these teeth one centimeter thick. And I'm going to use my ruler as a guide for the length of our teeth. I'm just going to join the dots so that it's easy to see where I need to cut. We're going to repeat this step on the bottom of our loom now. Now we're going to cut our teeth, cut along the lines that we've created. And there you have it, your loom is complete. Next, we're going to thread our loom. I'm going to turn over the box so that I can see clearly where my thread is.
thread the wool through the first tooth. Leave a little for the tying at the end. I'm going to bring the wool around each tooth and back up to the corresponding tooth and back down. I will continue doing this until all the teeth have been filled. That's it. And when we get to the last one, just snip the wool, leaving a little for tying at the end. Now it's time to choose your fabrics. Now we're going to begin weaving. Watch how I thread the scarf under every first piece of thread that I see. I'm going to pull the scarf through until I reach the end leave a little for time. On the way back I'm going to thread it underneath every second piece of thread. See that? One, two. This can be confusing, but don't worry, you can always go back and fix your mistakes. Don't forget to push your fabric up as you go. This will leave space for more fabric and create a tighter weave. Now that you know how to weave, the world is your oyster. Choose any fabric you wish to continue on with your weave. Make it as colourful as possible. I can't wait to see the outcome.
now and my weave is complete. All that's left to do is tidy up the edges and remove the weave from the loom. I'm going to start by releasing the loops I have created around the teeth. The first loop and the second loop to start with. Once they are free, I'm going to tuck the second loop under the first loop and pull it through. Then I'm going to release the third loop, tuck it under the second loop and pull it through. Then the fourth loop Tuck it under the third and pull it through. Continue doing this until all the loops have been used. To finish it off, I'm going to take the long piece that we left and tuck it through the last loop and I'm going to tie it off. And there we have it, our weave is complete. Don't forget to admire your work, you've done a great job. Let's think of ways we can use our new weave. What do you think? So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. I did. I also learned a lot about weaving. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, so you can follow me on my artistic journey through these weird and wonderful times. I've been Teresa. you've been awesome. <laughs> See you next time, bye.